Hey guys, so today I have another treat for you guys. It's another strategic exploit. This one in particular I've been using since the game came out back in, god, what, like 2000, 2001? So for this game you have to have super weapons on, no crates, MCV repacks on, he needs to be at spot 3, and you're, you're at spot 1. So we're once again taking advantage of an island on a map. And we'll take advantage of the supers being on. We'll get a chronosphere as early as possible. This guy's trying to be spot four, so we're going to kick him. It's a more traditional gameplay when people are further away from each other. So spot one versus spot three is typical, not spot one and spot four. So the early strategy into this game is going to be mining the gems, the the gems that spot one has over the other competitors gives it an advantage compared to the other spots. So let's see if we can get this game going. CNC Nets lagging a little bit. No guys, one on one. Alright, so we got Joy Dark representing the Soviet side. By the way, you have to be America for this strategy to work. So we got a game. Let's do this. So first you're going to want to deploy your MCV as soon as possible and put a power plant next to that ore. What this allows you to do is it allows you to make an ore refinery there later in, later in the game. But then we'll quickly move our MCV to the other spot in the island. So now our this strategy works against Soviets or allies. New construction options. I think it works a little bit better against the Allies, but either way, it works out pretty well. I started using this strategy roughly yeah 12 years ago, and it was my go-to strategy to get wins in a clan ladder. Building. When Training. hundreds of thousands of players New play. So we'll make New some anti scouts on. up on the top bridge and the bottom bridge. Construction complete. Unit ready. We'll place two GIs out here by this Unit bridge ready. to make sure no dogs get past it. We'll also do the same on this New bridge. Ideally, you'd like to anti scout Training. him starting here Unit and lost. Unit ready. elsewhere. All right, sorry. And down here. New construction options. So you want to make sure you mine the gems first. Sometimes the miner will go to the ore just because of where it's placed. And that will screw up your system. You need those gems early on because our strategy is going to be to get the chronosphere as soon as possible. And then make some battle fortresses and use the paradrop that we get from America. The free paradrop to fill up the battle fortresses, then we'll chronosphere them, kill their MCV, kill whatever else we can, and then we'll just camp up the base. Construction complete. So now what I like to do is I'll make three chrono miners options. from the war factory, which will give you a total of four miners while you go for the chronosphere. Ideally I'll be scouting him as soon as possible too. This guy's going for a quick uh, tech as well. Whoops. Sorry guys. Construction complete. Put that down there. New construction options. So we'll scout Building. him with a rocketeer. Unit ready. Unit ready. All fired up. Construction complete. So since he's building a radar, that tells me that he's going for a fast navy or a fast tech, a fast uh, iron curtain perhaps, and he's not going to be rushing me. You can clearly see that he's building towards a navy right here. Unit ready. Unit lost. Check out the view. So this is going to be a great game. This guy's a really good player. Clearly a really good player. It's uh, a bit awkward that he's not mining the gems here, though. I'm not sure why he's not mining the gems. So now we can scout him with this. 
I'm happy that this player is good, as this will be a great representation of the strategy. Chrono Sphere as soon as possible. And now some battle fortresses. We also want to make a seal here to kill the bridges so he can't get on by. Actually, before the battle fortresses, we should make an IFV so we can transport that seal. We really want to get that chrono sphere as soon as possible. Unit ready. Reinforcement ready. Select target. On your man. How about a swim? IFV ready. Made for speed. Construction complete. Alright, so there we are with the chronosphere. Building. On your man. So we got the chronosphere before he got the uh, Iron Curtain, which is a very good start. We're going to try to kill this bridge as soon as possible. Come on, where is Alright, this is actually going to work out nice because he put Construction. his, his uh, naval yard there, which is going to save me a little bit of time Training. and cost him a little bit of money. Unit ready. Building. So now we got to start planning for his naval. To do this, I usually like to get Chronosphere, I mean uh, Chrono Legion here. On hold. Cancel. Building. Construction complete. Unit lost. Force shield ready. Ready. Unit lost. Oh, come on, guys. Unit ready. Reinforcements ready. All right, so we got three minutes to go. We need to get that. Uh. Building. Unit ready. Unit lost. Beautiful. Construction complete. Unit ready. Come on, where's my legion here? Get him, get him, get him! Nice. See, that's why this strategy works out well. And hopefully we can... Nice. So far, so good. You can see this guy is an excellent player. Had a great approach there, but now he's getting screwed. Everything's made to fit. We can make adjustments. Ready, yes, sir. Moving out. Everything's made to fit. Chronosphere ready. ready. Select target. And now you just chronosphere him there. Warning. Chronosphere active. We will trample our enemies. And then you can see the damage that it does. Open fire. Reinforcements ready. GG. So that was a good game. That was a tough uh, opponent as he went straight to the tech, which is kind of what you're supposed to do in a situation like, uh, like that against an allied player at spot one. But you can use the spot one allied advantage to stop any naval attack or that sort of thing. So hopefully you can le you learn the strategy. It should work out easier against an easier opponent. Hopefully you have more like five or six battle fortresses, then I just had two, but that's ultimately the automatic win strategy. Alright guys, so based on the last game, I felt like I needed to try this strategy out against an allied opponent to show you what the strategy is really capable of. The last game was a little weird as it was a very good player who went straight to Navy, and once I stopped the Navy, it was over. So this game, 
I should be able to show you the strategy's full exploit of abilities. Alright, one second. Loading. Alright, so once again, we get the power plant down here, then we move our MCV to the gems. Tilda's a good player, I believe. I've seen him around. Now, when you're versing the allies, they're going to have the ability to scout you with the Rocketeer, much like I scouted the so the Soviet opponent in the last game with the Rocketeer. So you have to expect that they'll see you. So you have to expect that they'll see your strategy. However, there's not a lot that they can do to stop you. Building new construction options. Unit ready. Unit ready. Once again, making the two GIs for anti scout. On my way. Unit ready. Can do. Got it. There's his dog. Ready. Seems like my dog beat his, which is a very good start. How about some action? Unit lost. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Alright, so now we are fully anti-scouted, as he won't be able to get past us. Uh, past the GIs. So he smartly decided to go back. This dog would probably do that again once he realized there's GIs there. Oh, I see. He didn't see that. Unit lost. Alright, so we're going to have to scout him with the Rocketeer. Construction complete. Building. Actually, board. first I'll make a cancel. New construction an IFV, just in case he's gonna come straight with a rocketeer. Unit ready. Running smooth. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Need a conversion. All you really want to scout him early, just in case he does a super rush. Because if he does a super rush, then what you want to do is you want to get a seal as soon as possible. Unit you want to stop building ready. miners. You want to just get a seal. Complete. Destroy the bridge. Building. And then destroy the bridges, and then you're pretty safe from any sort of super rush. All fired up. You can see here he's not okay. rushing, he's going for the long game. Funds. I don't see any Got tanks out, I see more miners. Check out the view. Pushing away. So there's no reason for Pushing me to away. rush into anything. Rush into building a seal, I should say. Now you want to use your Rocketeer to scout the entire map. Unit ready. 24-7. Okay. So he's trying to go early tech, but we complete. already got a tech building. New construction options. So we beat building. him to battle at. That's because of the gems advantage. We can, you should normally be able to beat your opponent to the super weapon no matter what. So as long as we have the chronosphere before he does, this game should be over. Training. Alright, so now might be a good time to get a New seal. New rally point established. 24/7. Construction no complete. It's in the Unit bank. ready. He's trying to scout or something. Need a conversion? Watch my dust. Chrono miner reporting for New duty. New rally point established. Come on, seal. Reinforcements ready. Select target. Tools of the trade. Found New rally ready. point established. Tool ready. Unit Five ready. Man. Everything's oh, made to fit. Watch my dust. Construction complete. Sir, yes, sir. All the building. Building. We can make adjustments. Construction complete. Of course. Our base is under attack. Who's your daddy? Special delivery. Building. Construction complete. All right, so that's yep. a good start. Away, you can see in the last game I was able to destroy this bridge. However, in this game I destroyed the bridges closest to my New island. The reason I did that was because he had the two IFVs here. I didn't want him to get any uh, any sort of momentum going against me. Construction complete. 
Alright, right, so he's got this going there. Watch my gut like for you. Yeah. Building. Tools of the trade. Yep. Who's your daddy? Hoorah! Construction complete. Repairing. Shouldn't be a problem. Reinforcement ready. Unit ready. Our base is under attack. Select target. All right. So so far he's kind of falling right into my strategy, right into my plan. So you can see if he puts his uh construction complete. Unit ready. So you can see he's trying to get his um M C V closer to here. So in an ideal strategy we would have New rally points established. Transformer panel in order. We would have cut off this bridge to not allow this to happen. However, we didn't have that situation in this game. So we were forced to kill the bridge here instead. You might want to put some extra defenses here. I noticed that he's not going navy, so there's no real reason for me to... Construction complete. Protect against Navy. Unit ready. On hold. Cancel. Chronosphere ready. So our chronosphere is ready. ready. Put a little bit Select more defense target. there. Building. And we're going to chrono and kill everything he has here. Ready. Right on top of his tank. Boom. Easy peasy. Everything he has is done. You can even cut off his tanks coming back here. You can see how he's rushing back. He has no real choice. You can see how fast the damage is done with the uh, battle fortresses. So now he's stuck here. And now we got a serious advantage, obviously. We can even go navy, we can go so many different Building. directions with this. Unit ready. Construction complete. So you can see how deadly the strategy works against Allies or Soviets. It's a little hectic, a little stressful, because I mean one bad move and you might lose it. However, after doing this numerous and numerous times, you can really perfect the strategy. You can see now he's kind of going early, uh, or he's going Air Force Command. He's going to try to get as many Rocketeers as possible, it looks like. Which is a smart move on his part, however, it's going to be a little too late. Select target. I can even get a naval shipyard now at this point. Another trick too is to make a Tanya, put in an IFE, and then Chronosphere, and that'll be another easy kill. So now my goal is just to take out as many of his units as possible and force him to focus on these units while I uh, while I build more units at my base. Get his MTV possibly. Which would be ideal. Yep, there's the MCV. Now I get the barracks, and you can't build any more Rocketeers, and that should be game. Now we can just build some uh, IFVs just because these are the only ways you can really attack. You don't even really need IFVs now at this point. At this point is academic. New build one of these, these. So you can see how deadly the strategy truly is. I mean, you get the chronosphere earlier than your opponent. You uh have really nothing to worry about. Unit ready. Select target. 
Unit ready. Warning. And there we are again. And that's game. An absolutely deadly strategy. It would have been a little bit better if I killed the bridge closer to him so he couldn't have done that MCV move. Because once you get an MCV on your base, then you're limited ore. You want to make sure it's equal ore on each side so you get the two spots. But uh, overall, that's the strategy. You've seen it now versus Soviets. You've seen it versus Allies. And now he's calling me funny. <laughs> See, it's a strategy that people don't really think of, I mean. It's a great strategy. Thanks for watching.